It has been said that life is made up of moments, and most assuredly it is. In fact, all of life depends upon special moments in time when great deeds, both large and small, are accomplished by regular people just like you and me. We remember these precious moments as times of great happiness or great sacrifice and courage. This is the story of one of those times when someone was called upon to accomplish a task so great, so important that... Well, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let's start at the beginning. On a very special day, many, many years ago. A day when all the angels rejoiced. never seen anything like this. Not in a million years. It appears to be shining all the way down to Earth. What does it mean? Maybe Baruch will know. Baruch? Yes, he can tell us. Yes, ask Baruch. Baruch? And it came to pass, there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. Baruch, the light. And all went out, everyone into his own city. What is the light? The light? Yes. What does it mean? What is it? Tell us, please. Oh, the light. Yes. Isn't it magnificent? It comes from a special star which has been made to shine. Made to shine down upon the earth. Timotheus, please, you'll want to hear this too. What will I? Whoa! Want to hear, Baruch, about this light? It shines down upon the earth, leading to the place where a little prince will be born. How wonderful! How marvelous! Let us rejoice. A baby prince? Really? Yes. He will be born into a poor family, with no riches at all. But he shall still have a crown. Oh. It has been ordained that one of us must journey to the earth and deliver this gift to the prince. Oh my! Who will be given such a great honor? As you can see, dear friends, the choice has been made. Timmy? Certainly not Timmy. Oh, the task is too demanding. I think the choice is unusual but great. Let's hear a big amen for Timmy. Amen. amen! No, it can't be me. There must be a mistake. I'm too little to travel so far away all by myself. And... I can't fly very well because my wings are so short. And besides, I'm always losing things. Yes, Timmy, you somehow do manage to lose everything. Everything but that blanket. Won't it be difficult for you to carry that and the crown? My blanket's my best friend of all. Excellent. Then you can leave at once. But... But by carrying out this mission, you will learn why you were chosen. Have faith, Timotheus. And remember to follow the star. Follow the star. And so Timmy <clears throat> flew down to earth as best he could to begin his fateful mission. And with this great and noble task before him, where would he begin this important journey? Whoa! In the humble home of a pig named Nicodemus. Who, who are you? Are you all right? How many hooves am I holding up? Um, um one? 
Very good. I'm sorry you dropped into my home. It's such a mess. But then, <laughs> it's always a mess. I never have any visitors, so I'm truly delighted to see you. I am Nicodemus. What's your name? Oh, uh, my name is Timmy, and I'm an angel. If you're an angel, where's your halo? <gasps> oh. I'm on a very important journey. I really should be going. Well, I didn't think you'd want to stay here long, but don't worry. I understand. Not even angels want to mingle with a common swine. If I didn't have to deliver the crown to the little prince, I'd stay in. <gasps> the crown! Timmy! Are you all right? I found the crown, but my blanket... <sighs> <sighs> so sorry. Could you help me wash? Angels aren't supposed to be dirty. Wash? What's wash? <gasps> I have to find the star. What star? The star that will lead me to the Prince of Peace. There. Everything always looks better when it's clean. <laughs> Nicodemus, you are handsome. <laughs> You're right. In fact, I have a certain flair. Why, I'm actually a somebody. I knew it all the time. You just needed a bath. You know something, Timmy? Nobody ever took the trouble to see who I was under all that mud. Imagine you doing a thing like that. Oh. That light. Timmy, is that your star? Yes. I have to go. I don't want to lose it again. Bye, Timmy. Goodbye, Nicodemus. Goodbye. Timmy hurried on, following the light and leaving a happy and clean Nicodemus behind. Even as the sky turned darker and even as the wind grew cold and strong, the light shone brightly above. Go! Run! Flee! Huh? Well, what do you know? It's just a squirrel. Why were you trying to scare me? I wasn't going to bother you. Oh, you weren't, were you? And how was I supposed to know that? All the nuts I gathered for the winter, I stored in this tree. And the last thing I need is for a stranger to sneak up and rob me. I wasn't sneaking, and I would never rob anybody. Fine. Well, then you can just fluff up your feathers and fly away. My nut supply is for me alone. Why, I've got every nut arranged alphabetically. All right, come in, get warm and have some nuts. Though he had precious little time, Timmy accepted the squirrel's invitation, sure that the light had led him there for some reason. The uh, filberts are tasty this year, but I really recommend the walnuts. Well, go on, try some. Mm. And if you're sleepy, there's an extra bed in the corner. Thanks, but I have to go. If you stay the night, you'll probably steal my bed, too. But that would only serve me right for trusting strangers. I'm just a bushy-tailed fool. No, you're not. You're kind and generous. Gee, thanks. But don't spread it around. I have my reputation to protect. The star! I've got to go. Thanks again for everything. I'd like to see the little prince. But I'm just too busy. Goodbye, little angel. 
With the squirrel's gentle farewell, Timmy stepped out into the windy night as he once again followed the starlight. The cold wind brought with it snow, and as the storm subsided, Timmy lost sight of the star. Little bunny, I won't hurt you. Are are you a, a wolf? A wolf? No, I'm an angel. See my halo and my wings. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. You're absolutely, positively sure you're not a wolf? Absolutely, positively. I'm just a little angel. Timotheus is my name, but everyone calls me Timmy for short. My name is Snowflake, and I was crying because I was out looking for something good to eat in the forest when the snowstorm came up and the wind blew hard and it got real dark and scary. And, oh! Don't be afraid, Snowflake. And you're not frightened? Well, no. Not even of wolves? Wolves? I have more important things to worry about. I lost the starlight. But you can't ever see starlight when you're this deep in the forest. You have to get away from all these trees so you can see the whole big sky. That's what I've been trying to do, but I don't know the way. The way to what? The prince. I have to take this crown to the prince. I know the way out of the forest. I'll lead us. Wolves! Ugh. Shh! Don't say wolves. It's okay, Snowflake. Now are you gonna lead us out of here? Well, of course I am. After all, I'm a bunny, not a mouse. And a very courageous bunny, too. Kitty, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Brighter than ever. They were almost there. Oh no! What do we do now? Take the bridge, of course. The bridge? It's easy, see? Okay. 
can do it. Keep going. Timmy did what he had to do. He saved the baby wolf. But the crown was now gone forever. Timmy's mission had failed. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. Timmy, don't cry. But I lost the crown. <laughs> now I have nothing to give the prince. Timmy, it's your star. Oh, I can't. But you've come such a long way. You can't give up now. She gave birth to her firstborn son, and she wrapped the babe in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. Little Timmy, in one special and very precious moment, gave all that he had to the newborn prince. And by this simple act, Timmy's heart was filled with the light of the brightest star, the star of Christmas. <laughs> 